Hello, hello. Hello, students. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I am doing great. Very happy to be here. Like a little bit uh, of both. I am kind of happy, kind of sad <laughs> because today is our last day together. Believe me that I have had a lot of fun. I have had a very good time being your teacher because you are an excellent group. You really love learning. You are very passionate about it. And it is very nice uh, to work with people like you because you really enjoy learning and that it's very, very important. Well, hello, Ana Yancy. I, I saw you had problems and difficulties to enter, but you are here, thank God. Yeah, teacher, pero ya, aquí, okay. I nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. So today it's a day for presentations. Today it's a day to wrap up all the learning that we have had. And for sure, it's a transition moment, right? We're going to finish a uh, stage and then you are going to continue learning, to continue growing, to continue acquiring more knowledge. And uh, I really want to see your progress in the future. Whenever I find you later there in, in advance one, I will I will be more than glad to, to see how much you have advanced. Keep studying, okay? No quiero que por allá por avanzado me digan, ah, es que fíjate que, es que Julio se retiró. Porque sí, es que mucho calor. No, es que la Catherine se retiró. Porque es que la teacher me nunca parecía nada. Continue, continue studying, continue. Even when it is difficult, even when it is hard, even when it is challenging, continue working, okay? No quiero que después me digan, ah, es que la blanquita se, se, se fue para otro país, que no es que con un muchacho. What? No. <laughs> Hello. Hello. When? When? Where? <laughs> no, in the future. <laughs> Imagine, ah. later in, in advance, ok, cuando me los encuentre okay. en avanzado, no quiero que me digan, ay, la blanquita, fíjate que sí, se fue para allá, para Dubai. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pero desde allá se puede conectar, no hay problema. Yes. Ok, so, uh, today it's a day for presentations. So, I hope everybody has prepared its own presentation. You look very elegant today, Mr. Milton ready for the presentation miss catherine with the with the blouse and everything and miss blanquita hey, that you always you, look teacher. elegant right you are always elegant mr marlon how are you how is your little daughter uh, well good evening and thanks god she's better oh i am very happy i am very happy that that she's getting better and for sure she's going to improve within the days Okay, so my dear students, uh, don't feel nervous, okay? Don't feel like, oh my God, a presentation. No. Uh, if you see me, uh, if you see me uh, writing, don't feel worried, right? No, say like, ¡Eh! todo me está notando la teacher, Dios santo. No, don't worry. I just write things that we need to correct later, okay? We are going to correct these things later on. So don't feel bad. Today is a day for presentations. It's our final class. Uh, tomorrow we don't have classes, okay? And you have some extra days next week because uh, they need to prepare everything for the next group and everything, but they are going to let you know when is it going to start, okay? Así como les avisaron cuando iniciaban estos módulos, igual les van a hacer llegar la, la, el anuncio para los siguientes, ¿ok? Así que eh, hay que estar muy pendientes de su correo, del WhatsApp, eh, para los anuncios 
para, los, para el próximo inicio, ¿ok? Pasan unos días después de que finalice el módulo, porque recuerden que tienen que cerrar los, los grupos, tienen que hacer como todo el, el recuento de notas, ver que la plataforma esté lista y todo, eh, extender certificados, etc. Y iniciamos el módulo. No va a pasar un mes, ¿verdad? pero pasan unos días, así que no van a estar afligidos el lunes de que eh, tal vez el lunes no inicie, ¿okay? pero hay que tener paciencia de que vamos a eh, iniciar en unos días. Así que disfruten esos días, relájense, compartan, conozcan a la gente que vive en su casa. <laughs> ok, so remember, always remember, practice your English as much as possible, ask for help whenever you need, keep your cameras on all the time, attend your sessions on time, participate as much as possible, keep a cooperative attitude in class, and for sure, collaborate with your friends in the WhatsApp group. Let me see all the members of my classroom. Hello, Mr. Ismael, how are you? I have, let me see. Let me Hello, see. teacher. Good Hi. evening. Good evening. Uh, I saw Julio connected. I don't know where he went. He escaped. He didn't want to present first. I have Milton. I have an agency. I have Ismael. I have uh, Marlon. I have... Let me see. Oh, there is Julio, you see. Blanca, Catherine, Ana Romero. And that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm missing one, Marlon. Okay, good, very good. So, is anybody uh, of you uh, who wants to start or do you want me to choose the person that it's going to start? Uh, I can do it, teacher. Okay, Ismael wants to be the first one. So let me stop this one and for sure the stage is all yours. Go ahead. Action. Teacher, I'm sorry. Yes, I I'm sorry. So when you say the presentation, you mean like I need to introduce myself? Okay, you if you for sure you need to introduce yourself. Say so like, hello everybody, my name is Ismael and this and this and this, right? You can make a little introduction and then you start answering the questions that we were uh, assigned, okay? <laughs> So, Mr. Ismael. So, yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't tell me that you don't remember the questions that you have to answer. No, I'm sorry, I, I don't. So someone else is gonna start, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, remember, uh, <laughs> you see, I got you in curve as they say. Okay, let me see. I am going to look for them and I'm going to try to resend them for everybody. It is very simple, right? You are going to talk about your module. You are going to talk about um, what did you like the most? What was the most difficult part? What um, do you need to work a little bit more on? And what are your expectations for the next module? I think I am going to, okay, I am going to share it right here. And here we go. Uh, there you go. Chair, how do you yep. say, how do you say module or module? Module, module. Mo mo module. 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 Okay. Yes. Module. Okay. So there you have okay. in the in the chat, I sent you the questions again. I know many of you have them ready. You have to introduce yourself for sure. You have to explain what did you learn on the module? What did you like the most? Uh, what was the most difficult? What do you need to improve? And for sure, you are going to talk about the expectations for the next one. Okay, okay. so that's basically what we are going to do. So you can get ready, meanwhile. And who wants to continue? Can I? Go ahead, Mr. Julio. Okay, Mr. Julio and then Blanky. Okay. Well, first of all, I want to thank 
my classmates for the opportunity they gave me to share their time, experience, and especially uh, the opportunity to learn from them in this moment. Thanks to my teacher Natalie for supporting me and correct me when it's necessary. So, uh, what's your experience in the model? In this model, it was satisfactory for me because I was I was able to learn very interesting grammar rules that will help me on, uh, understand and apply the. English language to my work. This is the main reason because I am here. Uh, what uh, did you like the most? What I like, what I like uh, the most in the module was participating in the classes and having the opportunity to overcome the fear uh, of being run. Yeah. What's that? Uh, what the what did you learn? I like uh, I like uh, learning about to use the obverse in the past, the present, and the future, and also be, being being able to conjugate the verbs in the different sent, uh, tenses. What was the most difficult thing about the model? The most difficult part for me was completing the sentences exercises on the platform because I had to be very careful with the periods and commas and all the kind of thing. This is so, so difficult for I me. know, I know. Um, what do you need to improve? This is a good question. Uh, I must improve my pronunciation uh, and enrich my vocabulary, I think. What are your expectations for the next model? Uh, my expectations for the next model are to continue improving all that uh, things that I know I, I need to, to strengthen. I think. <laughs> thank you very much my dear students reactions for julio thank you very much reactions for julio and uh, and now from the classmates now the, the time is for the classmates what are some things that you want to mention to julio that it's going to help him to continue improving ¿Qué consejos o qué palabras le dirían a Julio para que él siga mejorando? ¿O qué puntos han visto a favor que puedan resaltar el desempeño de Julio? It can be in English or in Spanish. It's okay. If it's in English, it's pra better. Practice, practice and more practice, teacher. Practice it's and good. more practice. Good. Uh -huh. Any other words for Julio? Um, maybe you can see the series and don't use subtitles and um, and repeat the dialogue dialogues or uh -huh. dialogues good very good so take the pieces of advice thank you very much my dear thank students you. thank you blanquita go ahead okay i need to see the Please. Okay. Well, I uh, my name is Blanca Molina, but I like to say me Blanqui or Blanquita. <laughs> and I really enjoy really this model because uh, the teacher really thank you because every day and eight 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 p.m. is difficult. Uh, attends the class and you uh, really uh, fun the class and we we need we um, uh, 
really uh, enjoyed it. And I really, really thank you because every day, 8 p.m., I always tired. And well, you really, really a good teacher. And so the, the partners too, it's very comfortable, the, all the, the partners. And well, the other question, it's uh, explain what did you learn on this model um, introduced to future, future and different uh, times, past, present, and the future. This same is to the model uh, uh, before, yes, before, and but it's a uh, continuous in different time. Um, what did you like the most? I, I say that. Um, what is the most difficult? Uh, the most difficult for me always is the past, always. I hate it, Roll, really, really. I don't know why, but I, difficult for me, the past, really, conjugation, the verb, and then. Um, what did you need to improve? More vocabulary. Um, always have little scare when I talk. Um, no, that's it. And the same, I hated the past, I hate it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I am my expectations for the next model. And maybe um, practice more in class and you uh, correct my mistakes. And that's it. Ah, and the, and the platform, it's good. But two issues for me. One, completed the sentence. Uh, it's very difficult. Um, and the videos, it's a little old. And that's it. Okay, thank you very much, Blanqui. Thank you very much for your feedback and for your participation. Thank you, very good. And okay, from your friends, what are some comments that you have for Blanqui? Uh -huh. What comments can you have for Blanqui? What recommendations can you have for her? Huh? I have one. Even when it is difficult, I know 8 p.m. It's a very difficult time, but think about the benefit. Think about the benefit of learning because in some cases when you quit and when you stop in the future, you say, ah, ya fuera por el módulo avanzado, ya hubiera terminado si hubiera seguido. Pero como lo hubiera, no existe. Así que eh, keep on practicing. Keep on practicing. And even when it is difficult, I know and I am more than sure. But eh, continue doing your best. Great job, Blanquita. Thank you. Thank, thank you for sharing. Very nice. Mr. Milton, go ahead. Okay, teacher, go ahead. Uh, good evening, teacher and classmate. Um, uh, my name is Milton Kanjura, but only call me Milton. Is is a, a little name. Uh, teacher, uh, the, the course is very very nice for me. I really I need um, to talk English. Uh, always I like it. Uh, and then, of uh, course, um, at the finish, uh, I here with you. I hope this, I hope uh, you you are with with us in the next module. Um, 
in the course, the um, very easy, I think, for me is the, when, when to listen the audio and choose the, uh, to listen the audio because the, uh, and to do, do your hearing, but uh, choose the response is I feel it's good for me. I, I feel uh, easy uh, and the most difficult I, I, I think is to write the sentence is uh, for a moment, mm, I, I have a confu confused, but uh, it's, it's learning. I, I think uh, I need practice um, to write sentence, a uh, question in, by, by step by step by step. I think it is better for me. Uh, and then I, I, I'm very happy with the course with, with you, with the classmates, and it's a, a good group, a good group, excellent group. Thank you, teacher, for, for all. Thank you, Milton, for sharing. You know, I am very happy to see your progress because even when we have been together only 16 days, your pronunciation improved. Your participation improved, right? Desde el día uno que nos conocimos hasta el día de hoy, he visto un gran cambio en su pronunciación. Thank he, you, teacher. Yeah, Thank he visto un gran cambio. ¿Por I qué? Need... Porque participa mucho y eso le ayudó un montón. Y, y es eh, gracias a usted que sí, la clase es súper interactiva. Nos sentimos, yo creo que en nombre de todo el grupo lo digo, nos sentimos súper bien, súper mm, metidos en lo que es la clase, ¿verdad? Yo le digo, estoy cinco o diez minutos antes esperando que caiga, ¿verdad? porque sí, espero pues el otro año estar tener una tertulia, ¿verdad? Y hablando todo, todo en inglés. ¿no? That would be fantastic, right? Yo ya les dije, we are going to go to visit Ana Yancy there at the beach. We need to make a trip together to go and visit Ana Yancy there at the beach and, and to actually talk about uh, all your improvements and the things and all the great things that you did learning the language. Congratulations, Milton. Thank you very Thank you, much. Teacher. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, pieces of advice for Milton. Consejos? Consejos para Milton? Practice when, if you need talk with, with us. Please contact us in the chat. We need, uh, I don't know, a little conversation only for talk. Yeah, that's good. Very good, okay. very good idea. Very good okay, idea. Okay, thank you, Blanquita. Just to talk, right? Yes, that's the, Just to talk. Always I try to talk when, como me fue en el día? How do you say, como me fue en el día? How did the day go? How did it go? And talk and talk and talk. Always yeah. have a uh, many mistakes, but no, but, um, it's but it's a better day for day. It's a very good practice. Thank you very much for the tip, Blanquita. Very good. Let's listen to Mr. Marlon. Go ahead. The microphone, Marlon, the microphone. Sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Hello. Hello. My name is Marlon Bayona. Uh, well, uh, in this module, module, how do you say? Module. 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 I learn more vocabulary. Uh, I learn to express as to agree or disagree with affirmative and negative sentence because in a few years ago, I studied English. But ever, I don't understand. I, how do you say, no entendía. I didn't. I, I didn't understand the difference when you use neither do I or so do I. But in this case, I, I learned. Uh, uh, what do you need the most 
interesting. What did you like the most? Uh, in the case, the, 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 the opportunity to learn something new because I, I like the English, but I think uh, I don't have uh, enough time free to study. Okay. Uh, what was the most difficult? Well, the time, really the time. If you can see, I I, I was speaking in, in my cell phone because the people call me, hey, what happened with my, how do you say, period? With my order. What happened with my order in this moment? You can see is the 24 minutes past the eight o'clock, but the people call me, call yeah, me. I know, I, know, okay. I understand that, the, yeah. The most difficult was, uh, it was the tie. What do you need to improve? Corrupted uh, morph. Uh, I think I, I I must read in English and think in English because sometimes I think in Spanish and I translate in my mind. <clears throat> and in this moment, I lost time and sometimes I, I, I run. Uh, what are the expectations for the next model? The truth is I don't know if I follow because the time uh, in this moment in the enterprise, how do you uh, impress? Yeah, the enterprise. In the enterprise, uh, there is a, a change with a system, a new application, new program, and that is very stressful. And that reason, I don't know if I follow, but I want, I hope. The truth okay. is I hope. Uh -huh. If not, you uh -huh. can change the schedule. Si no puede cambiar de horario. The truth, yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, the truth is, I, how do you say, escribir? I, um, well, I sign up. I sign up at the nine o'clock. I don't know why they put me in the eight o'clock. So you but see, I am happy. Maybe, yeah. I am so happy. You see, imagine if, if, if not, we couldn't have met each other. <laughs> I am happy because, uh, like my classmates say, uh, you are a, a great teacher. Thank you very much. And you are very, very special. The truth is you are very you. special. Thank you, and, Mr. Man. And I am happy. The truth, I am happy, uh, happy and sad because today is the, the <laughs> end, okay? The last day, yeah. But I I was trying to, I will try. Yes, it's, yeah. it's the same that I was mentioning to Blanca. In some cases, it's difficult to, to make the time to continue to think about improving. But later on, when you consider this, remember you can be an example for your kids because you see, they, they see that you really want to continue improving. And it, it doesn't matter uh, how old you are because you want to continue learning and they see that. So you are an example to follow. And even when it's difficult and when you don't have the time, try to continue. Because later you will say, ah, ya hubiera terminado. <laughs> yes. It's true. It's true. I, so. I, I, uh, a few years ago, I, I began a, a course in Oceano Pacific. Uh-huh. Um, but I can finish. I couldn't for, finish, you say. Yeah. For the time, but in this case, I, I hope. I yeah. hope finish. Try, try to finish. Try By the way, my, my son, uh -huh. uh, he, he watched me in the class. And uh, he said me, Papi, ¿estás aprendiendo inglés? Y yo, oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Papi, ¿qué dice esta canción? Y yo, um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, Papi, but you no can try. <laughs> Papi, tú no estás estudiando, me dice. Ah, no, I ahí, 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 abre, ahí abre Google Translator, busca las lyrics y las trata de leer y entenderlas. Y de ahí le dice, le dice, ahorita no te puedo decir, pero te digo en un momento decir. Y de ahí, ah, <laughs> you investigate in everything and then you answer. That's good. That's good. That's good. Thank you very much, Marlon. Reactions for your friend. Thank you very much, Marlon. Great job. Thank you very much. Fantastic. So that's my recommendation. Continue, continue, continue. And don't stop because later you will see the results. Thank you very much. Miss Catherine, go ahead. Hello, uh, my, my name is Katherine Melga. Uh, I am studying in the medium module too. Uh, 
uh, presentation your experience in the module. The experience I have lived is that when when all sits out to do it one manavi to learn to pronounce civil words correctly. There, there are always mistakes, but little by little, it has better. Uh, what did you like the most? Uh, what I like the most about this module is the teacher way of teaching. Is she is very dynamic. It's more of it as ask you. Uh, what did you learn to par birds, for example, clean up, saying off. Uh, also, both words into par birds, for instance, uh, or say it's equal street. Uh, for example, tour, tour of the life, tour the life of. Uh, what what was the most difficult thing about the module? For me, the most difficult thing has no, no river in the module, but now the correct pronunciation uh, of the word. Uh, what do you need to improve? It's to know more words and pronunciation. Also, to differentiate uh, between regular and irregular birds. Uh, what are your expectations for the next module? Are uh, to improve my pronunciation and to know more words to be able to to speak more fluently. Very good. Thank you very much, Catherine. You did it. You see that you are able to do it. Eh, I remember the first day that I met Catherine. ¿Se acuerdan el primer día que nos conocimos con Catherine? Que no, yo no quiero hablar, que pase otro, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto. It was like, no, no, no. It's like, no, yo no quiero hablar. And I feel very happy that you are taking the challenge, that you are being encouraged and courageous to participate, produce, and talk. Even when it is difficult, Catherine try to continue practicing and this is going to bring you perfection a, a good recommendation read books articles whatever thing in loud voice siempre que encuentre un artículo un, una frase cualquier cosa que encuentre escrita en inglés léala en voz alta léala repítala repítala de nuevo grábese leyéndola para que usted misma vaya mejorando su pronunciación su fluency y también eh, ir adquiriendo vocabulario un tip que le regalo por ahí. Ok. Uh, le comento algo, uh, no pues en inglés, pero este, últimamente he buscado películas y canciones en inglés para uh, como ir practicando un poco más. That's very good. La pronunciación good. es lo que más me cuesta. I know. Karaoke is very good, but good karaoke. <laughs> good karaoke is all songs in English and that, that, that is very good for you to practice. Congratulations, Catherine. Thank you very much for sharing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. Miss Anna Yancy, go ahead. Otra que me tenía miedo al principio, no me hablaba, hasta se me escondía. Y ahora hasta ella misma. Yo yes, quiero, teacher. teacher. That's fantastic. Go ahead, Anna Yancy. Go, go, go. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Anayansi de Rodriguez. I like to be called Carl Johansi. At first, I felt very difficult to listen to only English, but the teacher was very sensitive with the situation and helped us very tight. I needed. I am interested in continuing to learn. I know, I know that I need 
to speak more English. I think I have to be a teacher and a student. More if I want to say that in the A and like this learning model given by the teacher Natalie. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. Thank you, and again, see, you see, at the beginning, it was very difficult for you to create one sentence, one paragraph. And now I am very happy that you are working on your uh, on your um, pronunciation, on your production. Continue doing it. Every time that you have an opportunity to practice English, do it. Okay? Every time. If not, there are many sites. Uh, tomorrow, I am going to send you many different sites where you can practice uh, reading, where you can practice listening, where you can practice speaking, where you can practice pronunciation. So for you to continue working on that on your free time. I know we, know, we don't have free time, but uh, we're going to, if you have any time, you can practice with that. Okay, I am going to share uh, some links that I have for some sites on which you can continue working on your skills. Congratulations, Ana Yancy. And you. I am very happy to listen to you speaking in a very good way now. Thank you. Congratulations. Mr. Ismael, welcome to the stage. Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am back. You are okay. Uh, yes, uh, as you, as uh, so many of you know me, and this is, my name is Ismael, Ismael Martinez. And uh, this is the first module that I was cursing. And I hope to be here for, for the, the ones coming. Um, so I'm gonna uh, share about, uh, one second. So um, uh, one of the, things that that I learned in this module is a uh, using the gerund and the infinitive of the verbs and uh, when using the ing uh, when it's needed also using the could and the would you mind which is something that I didn't use before but now I know how how to use it and um, Something else that I learned is uh, basically learning some, it's a reading comprehension because we had some articles to read and then we need, needed to find uh, the answer. So for example, knowing when, when it says them, knowing to uh, who we are talking about and so those, I learned those, those things. And something that I liked is that we always have the chance to participate and, and speak. And that's something that I, that I like. And something else is that we all respect others. And when they are talking, no one is making fun on the, on the other uh, classmates. And let me see something else. Something that I think that is most difficult is speaking. So, because even though, but something that I liked is that even though it's hard to speak, eh, we are still eh, doing it and everybody was doing it. So that's something, like I said, it's something difficult, but I think we're gonna be able to, um, I think it's overcome. Overcome. Very good. Overcome. To overcome. Yes. yes. Overcome all the challenges. There you go. Very good. Thank you. Uh -huh. Continue. Continue. Something that I, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. No, Something that I need to improve and I know it's basically, I think all the branches of English, pronunciation, vocabulary. And I know that even though I work in a company where the environment is in English, I, I get used to, to speak always about the same thing. So I'm something like robotic. So I am repeating the same thing all the time. So it's not like when I have to talk about something else, 
about neighbors, about cultures, about other countries. So it's not the same. So it's not, it's mm -hmm. definitely not the same. Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, and uh, let me see. And my expectations for the next module are, I don't know, teacher, if I am gonna be, if we are gonna be with you or if someone else is gonna be teaching us. Um, well, in, in fact, we don't actually know which is the next module that we are going to be assigned. I haven't had the bless to have the same group two times, but I have found the group again after one module, for example. I, oh. have, I have one group maybe right now, then I have another module with another group, and then another module with another group, and then I find my students again. So it's, it's kind of a... Uh, a, a roulette that I oh, am expecting okay. and praying and so like oh, I, need, I would love to have the next group but uh, for sure I am going to find you back in the very near future okay and, and you know it's <laughs> very it's very good because you have the opportunity to listen to another um to another type of English to listen to another teacher, to listen to another pronunciation, to listen to a different accent, because in some cases there are many other accents of English. There are some people who are native speakers. There are some people who have been working maybe more than I have been working. Like I, I am very proud of my 18 years and then comes another teacher with 20 more years of experience. And I'm like, okay. Oh yeah, it, it, uh -huh. and it's okay. I mean, uh, because one of my experience, I have uh, spoken to many different people from the U.S. and uh, different people have different accents. Yes. So accent doesn't mean that uh, someone is not speaking English well. No. Because not at all. actually, it's something. It's something that um, that is normal. Okay. So, and actually, when, during my experience, I know that people from the north of the U.S speak different yes. to the people that live in let's say in, in, in the west in the south uh -huh. in the west oh, exactly. exactly so their accents change their accents so, change so but the experience yeah. the experience and the requirements and uh, all the all the requirements that you need uh, for sure are going to be covered by any of the teachers if not you can say teacher i would like you to work more on this and this I would like you to work more on practice. I would like you to work more on this one. You can also give, uh, you can speak your mind about this with the program. Inglés Corporativo is very open to, to these suggestions from students. So, and we as teachers, we adapt this to the different groups. So in any case, just uh, if you want a specific practice on a specific things, you can also ask that to your teacher. Okay, teacher. Thank that's you. So very, that's basically and yeah, and one of my expectations is having someone like you. <laughs> Thank you very <laughs> that's much. What I, what I wanted to say, teacher. Yeah, you I, are. I, too, I so feel I, very I feel very glad uh, to listen to those words. So thank you very much, Ismail, for sharing my recommendation. You are very close to reaching your goals, so continue doing the great job that you do. Thank you very that's, much. That's my goal. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, last but not least, we are going to have, hey, Anita Romero, where are you? I had Ana Romero here and she left. Ana, where are you? Okay. Maybe I am going to, I, I sent a message to the Omesis because he left too. He was here. Maybe he had issues with the internet. I am going to call Anita Romero to see what happened with her. And also Heidi, she was here. And Mr. Mauricio, but I don't know, maybe it's raining where they live. Well, uh, if while they connect, I am going to talk about some of the things that uh, I, I heard about the pronunciation issues. In general, thank you very much for all your beautiful words. I feel very glad and honored to have the opportunity to work with people like you, that you are very compromised about learning. And it is very easy to teach you because you really want to learn, right? There is nothing better than teaching students who are interested in learning. So I feel more than glad. And I always say that great teachers are because of great students. And that's my phrase forever. 
because you challenge me to do my best. You challenge me to do great things, to investigate, to be there, to help you. So it, it is very rewarding for me as a teacher uh, to get to know people like you. Okay, pronunciation issues, conjugate, conjugate. Right, the pronunciation of conjugate. Expectations, expectations. Um, I like people to call to me. I like people to call me, okay? Uh, when you say, uh, I difficult for me, you say like, it is difficult for me. It is difficult for me uh, to talk English, to speak English. Right, it's difficult for me to speak English. Uh, when you are having a presentation, and this is for the future, try to avoid the hesitation to be like, uh, mm, uh, 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 uh. in some cases, we need to organize our ideas. And this is a matter of practice, right? Con la práctica se les va a ir desarrollando mucho más. Que evitar el, uh, uh, um, mm. Because it, it gives the idea to the listener that you are kind of inventing something extra, right? Just try to organize the idea and then you produce it. But that's normal on the on the learning process. The pronunciation of like, 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 uh, okay. Um, I don't have lots of free time, you say. I couldn't finish, right? When you say I can finish, no, it's I couldn't finish. The pronunciation of better, better words, the pronunciation of pronunciation, <laughs> pronunciation, pronunciation, regular and irregular, regular and irregular. And to be able to, to be able to, I want to be able to speak more. I want to be able to practice. I want to be able to, the pronunciation of name and you close your mouth right name and you close your mouth the pronunciation of english right english as well that's another tip for pronunciation well my dear students i am going to share my final presentation with you that i have here i have some uh, quick tips for learning and i have a very short reading that it's about learning English okay I need you to go over the reading go over the reading analyze the vocabulary analyze the sentences and then I want you to give me a general idea of what the paragraph is about go ahead read it analyze it and then you can give me a general idea of what the paragraph is about. You can read aloud. O sea, ese es uno de los primeros consejos que les di. Pueden leer en voz alta. It's okay. Sorry. Okay. How do you say, uh, what does it mean sim? Sim, parece. Um, okay. Thank you. It can sim. Excuse me, teacher. However, however, uh, let me see. When you say some even write words and sentences on paper, however, uh, sin embargo. 
Sin embargo, that's the meaning. Did you finish reading? Give me a like if you finish reading. Like if you finish reading, no yet. Okay, continue, continue. Okay, and Mankita, teacher, can, yes? I'm done. Okay, you are done, very good. Do you have any question about vocabulary? Uh, no, no question. Okay. Good, very good. Oh, I, I got one, uh -huh. but it's about pronoun pronunciation. Uh -huh. it, um, it, it takes a lot of dedication and it's the second, the second discipline line, the, uh, discipline. Discipline, <laughs> yes. Okay. It's very curious because it's very similar to Spanish, right? Okay. Yes, I was thinking about discipline or something discipline. like that. <laughs> yeah, some people say discipline, but it's discipline. Disciplined. Discipline. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go like in the platform, right? Section one, activity one, listening. Hey, Diomesis, you are here. Diomesis. Hello, Diomesis. Diomesis. Aquí yo hay a usted, hello. Okay, quizás todavía tiene problemas con el, la conexión. Okay, listen to the teacher reading the paragraph. Pay attention for new pronunciation. <laughs> Learning English can seem difficult at first. It takes a lot of dedication and discipline to learn a new language. But most importantly, it takes a lot of practice. Many people spend time memorizing words out of books, some even write words and sentences on paper. However, until you make the language useful to yourself, it will never become part of you. Doing all those other things are okay as long as you are also spending time speaking the language and trying to communicate with others. When you use the words and phrases you have learned to communicate with others, the language becomes more natural for you to learn. Also, you are able to hear how English speakers answer you, so you will know the language sounds when it is spoken. Other good tips on learning are on learning a new language are to listen to as much of it as you can being spoken by native English speakers. Turn on the radio and sing along to songs in English or watch television shows that are spoken in English and try to follow along and understand what it's going on the story, what it's going on in the story. The more you immerse yourself in the language, the sooner you can start effective communication with other English speakers. In general, the idea of this is that you can do many things with the language, but if you don't actually practice with another speaker, it's going to be a difficult process. So what Blanca mentioned, uh, let's talk, let's practice, let's talk about the normal things on the day, let's talk about what we did, let's talk about general things. Ismael was also mentioning that he talks about the same thing in his job, but when it comes to talk about specific topics or general topics that come in a conversation, eh, he, might get it, he might get stuck in the language. So the more you practice with other people who are practicing, for sure, it is going to be beneficial. What are some of the tips that are mentioned on the reading? <laughs> What are some tips to learn that are mentioned on the reading? Teacher, uh -huh. it says about uh, watching television, television shows. Okay, watching television um, shows, but 
in English, right? In English, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, you see, like, yeah. teacher, I am watching Betty Laffey. <laughs> yeah, in something... English. <laughs> no, it's something that, that it says that basically, no matter how many words, how many phrases uh, we, we learn or memorize, but at the end, if we don't use them, so that is not going to make any effect. Excellent. In our in our improvement, improvement. Very, in your improvement, <laughs> very good tip, Ismael. Uh, any other one, my dear students, that you read there that it's mentioned as a tip to continue learning? Turn on the radio and sing along to, to song in English. Yes, don't be afraid. You might not be an expert singer but try to sing. But one thing is important. You have to know what you are singing. Look for the lyrics. Look for the lyrics of the songs. So you are not inventing a second song, right? You are not inventing words on the, on the song just because you think that it's what it says. No, read the lyrics, okay? Cuando usted agarra la letra de una canción que considera chévere, a veces se lleva las sorpresas que no era tan chévere como se oía. Uh -huh. O que de repente escucha a su hijo, a su hija, le, escuchando una canción y usted dice, qué chivo el ritmo. Pero cuando viene uno y lo lee y lee las líricas, uno se da cuenta de en verdad lo que uno anda produciendo en la mente. Así que, good tip, look for the lyrics and practice with the lyrics. Si tiene una canción ahí que le gusta de los Bee Gees, no sé qué, de los Beatles, whatever, look for the lyrics and sing with teacher, the lyrics. Uh -huh. Teacher, but something that I realized is that it's too difficult when, you, when I listen to a song without a lyric. <laughs> then, then when I see the lyric, I see that it's too easy. But uh -huh. when, I, when the, the, the artist is singing, yeah, yeah, it's difficult to understand just, just by listening to the song because maybe you are not acquiring everything. But that's my, my recommendation. Whenever you like a song, eh, look for the lyrics. I look for the, the karaoke version and then I sing it. That, that's a very good thing. Well, in this uh, last three minutes that I have here, well, you have here, turn on the radio and sing in English, watch TV in English, eh, talk to people in English, practice with others. If you know a native speaker, practice with him or her because it is very good. I am going to give you in these final minutes that I have some tips for you to continue practicing, for you to continue learning. The first tip that I can give you for English, set a goal. Why are you learning? Don't tell me, ah, because it's, a, it's an obligation. That's not a goal. It's like, because I want to improve myself, because I want to understand, because I really want to learn English. It's my passion. I, I love it, right? Set a goal, okay? Busquen una meta para aprender. No solo porque me obligaron, no solo porque era necesario. Set a goal. The next one, find a routine. Find a routine. Try to practice English in a specific time. For example, for lunch, if you eat alone, watch a series in English, but with the English subtitles. Listen to the series in English and, and check on the subtitles. Practice in the specific uh, internet uh, sites for English reading, for English listening, right? Practice, but every day, even 15 minutes are going to make a difference. Make mistakes. If you don't make mistakes, how are you going to know that you can continue improving? Practice a lot. Practice is the only way to perfection, right? Learn different phrases. Be curious, right? I am, I always say like, yo soy curiosa pleca meque. Because if I see one word, I go and investigate what's the meaning and everything. So learn things. Practice vocabulary. Vocabulary, it's going to enhance uh, the way you speak. It's not that you are going to learn one word and then you are going to be including that word in everything, right? But practice vocabulary. Record yourself. Haga un grupo con usted mismo en su celular, en WhatsApp, 
y grabes en la noche contando qué hizo en todo el día y después escucha y ahí va a ir viendo y va a decir ¡Eh! uy yo dije peoples uy no qué horrible and you are going to continue practicing ahí en WhatsApp pueden hacer un grupo con su esposa de ahí saca a su esposa del grupo y se queda usted solo ahí en ese en ese grupo y ahí puede mandarse las notas de voz eh, todos los días puede grabar en inglés y se puede escuchar para ver cómo va avanzando read new words and phrases eh, read about things that you like send messages to people in English that's important watch movies use a dictionary and listen to the pronunciation of words. Go to the internet and look for the pronunciation. Pronunciation of the word, and then you write the word. And then you are going to get the correct sound. Well, my dear students, for me, it has been everything. It has been surely a pressure. And the last thing that I can mention, keep doing that great job that you do. And thanks for sharing a part of your life with me. Thank you very much for everything. And I am going to see you for sure in a next class. Thank you for all. Thank you. And thank you, teacher. Thank you, here you have. Thank if you, you need all. all. If you need anything, just teacher. send me a message. Sure. Teacher, don't, happy now. Teacher, don't, don't worry, we're happy. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. Ahí quedo a sus órdenes. Eh, cualquier cosa, ya saben, me pueden contactar, eh, cualquier cosa, cualquier ayuda, estoy a la orden, así que eh, para mí ha sido un placer servirles. Y, in English, eh, teacher, in English, teacher. I hope to ¿Me? see you, I hope to see you in the next module. <laughs> Thank okay. you very much, my dear students. We students. hope so. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye, good night. Bye, bye. Have a beautiful Bye, everyone. Night. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Take care.